Hi Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica, and today we're going to be showing the last part, part seven, I believe, of the mass journal making overview. And I did let you guys know in the last video that it's now time to bind the journals, but I'm not going to show that in a video because I am kind of over filming, to be quite honest, and I'm just so busy that that filming binding um it's just gonna take way too long i have lots of videos on my channels doing binding videos and each journal is going to possibly have a different type of binding so it was just going to be too tricky to film but i wanted to show you what i'm doing to finish up before i start listing everything so um in my releases i like to have some different price point journals so that um, everyone can grab something if they want. And so for this release, I have decided, since I have a plethora of beautiful wallpaper, to make some smaller wallpaper journals. So I, ob obviously off camera, have put together about 10, and I think that's all I will do. Um, and they're all, I think most of them are like almost a traveler's notebook size, so it's like four and a quarter by eight and a half, which I think is a great size, one, if you have a traveler's notebook, but also just to have as a little journal um, for writing or memory keeping. And they have some pretty basic journal pages inside. I have a couple um, larger ones as well. These are like six by nine. And again, they're gonna all have pretty, um, pretty blank pages, not too much decoration going on in these so that again, I can keep that price point rather low compared to my full journals. So I'm working on the last one. I thought I would just bring you guys along there, but I have also um, included in this release and already prepared two other journals that are like a full size journal, but I'm using a vintage book cover as the cover which is really cool and then also these ones don't have too much decoration as well so this price point will be just a little bit less than the others but the other thing i really like to include in my releases is add-on products and i really recommend doing this if you're doing like a big journal release or product releases have smaller add-on items so for instance i've made about 10 or 15 um, tassels and I did keep these rather plain I might add beads to some of these I haven't decided yet it depends on time but again so I can keep that price point low and people like to buy accessories to dress up their um, items that they already have or you know do a giveaway as gifts or something like that and then I also have some page decoration packs and I didn't have to do anything extra for these because when I was making all of the page decorations for the journals I plan to do this and I already made extra um, so these packs will have I think it's like 15 decorated um, page pages and pockets and I, I don't really know what to call these but all of the things that you've seen me include in the journals um, fabric tags and things like that and I always usually add a few extra little goodies like tags or journaling cards for these I will most likely do like some 10 piece junk journal kits that will have uh, plain items like manila tags, layaway tags, things like that. And then my stuff's falling all over. The last thing before I'll put this journal together is that I'm also doing some wallpaper packs. And let me see if I can grab this. My lighting is just not working for me today it actually broke to be quite honest and so i'm using like different lighting that doesn't work great but anyways i'm always so i'm also doing wallpaper packs and these they're all going to be different but i thought i would just show you and these aren't packaged up how i will send them out either they'll be much nicer um this is just an idea basically the packs will have a different uh, amount and sizes of wallpaper samples and there will be big enough pieces that can be folded into journal covers, used as collaging or different things like that. And each pack has um, pages, or it has uh, pages that, not pages, each pack has 
kind of like a color theme or like I have some floral ones so that they kind of make sense going together. All right. I'm definitely ready for this um, release to kind of be be gone, be going. I'm ready to list everything. Okay, I've already cut down just my blank pages, so I was just going to just sh show you how I kind of put these together. Um, I like to do, not all of them, but some of them have like a little side pocket, and so I just cut this down to my designated size, and then I just fold them in half. I really like making these simple little journals. I think they are super cute. Actually, I need to make one for myself uh, for my Patreon. I do a lot of writing when I'm planning out my Patreon mail, and I don't know why I've never thought to do my own journal. And then I'm just gonna sew around the edges of all of this. Now, if you're curious about my process for listing all of the items. I do take pictures of every single journal, including some of the pages in it. I will do a video where I show each journal, but I probably won't be doing a full flip through because I have too many journals in this collection, but I do like to show everything on camera. I try to be really diligent in making sure that my listings are accurate as far as size goes and making sure a lot of times I will copy over an old listing that's similar and I've definitely been known to not update the listing and hopefully everyone that's buying from me kind of comes from my videos so you you see the true information but I am working extra hard to make sure that all of my listing information is correct and then I choose a date which I still haven't chosen I do um, you know a video announcing that date or I'll post on social media and then when that day comes I make sure that absolutely everything is ready to go and I have a lot of my shipping supplies like ready to go to because typically my items sell out pretty fast so I need to like be ready 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 but yeah if you do have any questions about this whole process you're more than welcome to leave them down below I'd be happy to do a Q&A just all on um, a big journal release or product release but let me go ahead and finish this journal up I'm going to sew around the edges Um, for me, I find that doing a big collection release works a lot better than just randomly having a few journals um, for sale every now and again. I don't know why, but for me it just works better. When I do sell like one or two journals at a time, they still sell relatively like instantly usually which I'm very grateful for but a lot of people tend to message me and then want to have like a custom journal or they'll say when is another one gonna be available so I just kind of like to do it this way because I do have a bigger audience um, where there is that um, what's the word I'm looking for demand there is a demand, a big demand, I would say. Um, and so it, this just works better for me because I find that it's easier to do a bunch at once. That's just how I work better too. So then after I sew around, we have just a really plain, simple, cute um, cover. Sometimes I might actually go ahead and I'm gonna do a cross stitch just a little bit right around the just kind of corner area. Because I, I want it to be kind of messy. If that makes sense. But, you know, let's see. I gotta go one more time because I don't like how that looks, but that's okay. There. It's messy, but it's planned out. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay, so then, like I said, these are simple. Um, all of the pages are coffee dyed paper. Some book pages I have a glassine bag that I fold in half I think there's six pages folded so uh, 12 24 I think it's 24 pages and I do make um, one of the pages have a pocket like that 
and it's really hard for me not to go ahead and do more like I was thinking like oh lace would be gorgeous on this or um, a little metal uh, nameplate would be really cute but then I need to, you know, make the price point be a little bit higher. And to bind these ones, I just do a really simple three pamphlet stitch. So I'm not going to do that right now. But I am going to finish up filming here. And like I said, I just kind of wanted to close this series up. But please leave any questions down below. Um, you are definitely seeing this video past the release. So, um, yeah, I am happy to help you out in any way that I can. I hope that you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you later. Bye.